Holy cow. <laughs> Love it. Look at the stars. Wow. It don't look nothing like this. Right now I'm looking at a screen where it's mostly black in the menu. Right. The contrast is clear that I can see and read all the detail of lettering. It was great. It felt like I was there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed the uh, the foveated rendering. Everything looks, uh, again, it looks really clear and everything's flowing really nicely. There's not really any pixelation on any of the movement. Everything's flowing really good. Um, It feels really realistic. It's really clear and um, it's like actual driving on the road. The clarity, it was extremely clear. Um, and I know uh, they said that it's a 4K uh, on each, for each eye. Extremely high level of detail. There was no lagging, no pixelization or, or, or freezing. Um, even while I'm driving along, looking at things going at high speed, uh, it, it felt very clean. It felt more realistic than a lot of some of the other things I've, I've, I've done consumer before this. Um, but looking inside the level of detail, like in, like in the cockpit of the car, um, you could look at it and you, you've almost wanted to reach out and touch the dials and, and, and feel some of the interior because it looked that realistic. Right. And it, it's true to exactly what the car was with in a GTR. It was exactly yeah. what... Oh, the field of view, definitely. It's actually wider than what I can see. If I move over, I can look and I can see stuff. Well, I've had a Mario Aero. I've had an HP Reaver G2. And they have great screens. The problem is, if the lenses aren't sharp enough, you're not going to get a good gaming experience. The lenses on Pimax Crystal are so clear, the entire viewing area is phenomenal. And then the black, black level, too, is something that's really important when you're playing dark spooky games. This is fully wireless. It's really good. And the clarity? Great. Wow, this is gorgeous. It's unbelievable.